And Super going out in style with the three to end it. And I'm sure most importantly for Sue, her team wins it 81 to 72. Uh, Seattle behind a career day for Gabby Williams and Sue Bird's friends and family. Uh, quite a show. <laughs> Steph Dolson, another UConn kid, and the, just the, the, the respect is it's it's universal for her. So much respect for Sue. I mean, you can't even put into words what she has meant to the game of basketball or passion the way she's put the game before herself, so selfless. An ambassador for women. And for this league, like we've never seen. No. Four championships in the WNBA, five Olympic gold medals, five Euro League titles, a national title in high school. And of course, they're gonna want selfies. They want photos with Sue as well, the, uh, the opposing players. Of course. I want one too. Holly's got Sue. Super. Well, Sue, I know it was a lot of emotion this week when you publicly announced your retirement. You said it was for New York. So how did this meet your expectation for a fond farewell to you? Uh, unbelievable. Um, I want to thank the New York Liberty. They, um, they really showed me a lot of love in getting my family tickets. The team wore thank you, Sue, shirts to warm up. That took me totally off guard and by surprise. To all the fans who came out, Thank you so much. I've got, you know, people in here that I've known my whole life, friends, family, old friends, new friends, some homies. I see you, Deezus and Tommy. Uh, it's really, it's really been amazing. I'm so glad that I was able to hit my final shot in my final game in New York. You held that up there for a minute too. How about that? <laughs> I had to, it didn't look like it was going in for a second. I know the win is important to you, but also your legacy here in New York City. You started out playing as a kid on the playgrounds here. What is the legacy you leave to this city? I saw a sign that said it best, Sue York City. <laughs> um, this is where I grew up, you know, and anybody knows who's from New York, um, it teaches you a lot about basketball. And there is a legacy here. New York basketball is the best. And I just tried to upheld my side of it. Um, and now it's time to pass the torch. I do have one last thing to say. I don't think the Brooklyn fans are gonna like it. Bing bong. This is a fun farewell to New York, but you've got a lot of season ahead. What is the focus for you to go out on your own terms? Um, just keep getting better. This was a really good New York Liberty team, but this was a great road trip for us. We went four and one. We haven't played with our full roster, I think like three times. So we have a long way to go and hopefully you can peak at the right time. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Holly. Appreciate it. Thank you. So Sue Bird in front of friends and family. Great way to go out here in New York. Yeah, sad for her last game in New York, but good thing for us, more games to play for Sue Bird. And remember, Chicago won the championship last year after going 500 during the regular season. So Sue's point about getting hot at the right time is correct. There's her proud mom looking on as Seattle with a strong fourth quarter wins it 81 to 72.